she produced 12 children. Five died. Two are the only one who are left normal, strong, healthy and walking upright. The remaining five are disabled. They walk while seated and this makes them not cover a big distance when walking. These children are all under her responsibilities and she has to provide for all of them. She says she doesn't really know what is happening to her children. Meet this family. It's so unusual to find a family with all five children disabled. This mother has five children and they are all disabled. But they are all born normal, healthy and strong. When they reach a certain age, their muscle weakens. Christine is the mother to these five children. She says she produced 12 children. Five died due to this illness. They all share apart from her. Myopathy is a general term referring to any disease that affects the muscles that control voluntary movement in the body. Patients experience muscle weakness due to a dysfunction of the muscle fibers. My firstborn was born normal. He was healthy. He started walking. After walking, he started showing muscle weakness. He could no longer hold something. Legs and arms started bending. Same applies to all other children. When they reach the age between two and five, there are muscle dysfunctions which makes them fail to walk and they move seated. For the firstborn, he had gone fetching water down in the valley. When he stood and tried lifting the small jerry can, he could not manage, so he screamed and people lifted and brought him here. We hurried to the hospital. Doctors tried their best. He was operated on legs and given some shoes to help him walk. He again started walking on his feet. We were happy to see him walk once again. But this did not last because after one year he could no longer fit in those shoes, then stopped walking again. Even doctors were worried. They wondered how on earth I could produce all these children with the same disabilities. I produced 12 children. Five died to this illness. There were three boys and two beautiful girls. Doctors never told us the exact illness our children have. This means we don't know what is happening to them. Only two children among my children survived the illness. This worried mother says it's hard to provide for all these children, yet she's disabled. And she has spent at least two years using his clutch to help her walk. She says life is so difficult. I remember walking and recall when I stopped walking. I had five years. When this started, I slept. Waking up, I had some body weakness that I thought maybe it was malaria. Then I went outside to play with other children. But when playing with other children, I stood but failed. After some years, we went to the hospital. Doctor said, that we went there so late, we would have come before I turned 15. By then, I had 18. According to what doctors said, they said I was suffering from myopathy. This is a rare disorder that affects the skeletal muscle function. I usually do shoe repairing. I have skills in shoe repairing. I have to wake up early in the morning, sit here at home, then wait for someone to bring me their shoes. That's how I get a few coins and get by. Hmm. I'm the fourth child here at home. I was caught with this disorder back when I was too young. That I don't recall when exactly, because I was very young. I have never attended school, but despite this disability, life continues. I think the problem lies between the knees and the back. I feel my back not strong.
this 28-year-old says that though she never had chances of going to school, she sells phone credits known as airtime. Users can find her here at home and she can top up their credit at any time. With a few customers, she can buy herself body lotion, soaps, and other few things. I think it's between three and four years by when I stopped walking upright. My muscles started being weaker and weaker. I ended up not playing with other children anymore. I also had the chance to go to the hospital. I was operated, then I recovered somehow for a few years until when I had 12. But lack of physiotherapy made my walking stop. Janvier says that he's so lucky that at least for him, he's not illiterate like some of his siblings. He says he went to school and did languages and linguistics in his secondary school. But since finishing high school in 2019, he never got a job. He's just waiting for capital to start his own business. For him, he hopes tomorrow is bright despite being disabled and having no job. This 25-year-old Emmanuel says he has same body deformity as his fellow siblings. He says he does not recall when and how this started. He remembers when trying to walk upright but feeling legs not so powerful to help him stand. I was also taken to the hospital in 2005. I was operated down here on the ankles and even above the knees on the hips, then tried standing. After that, I started going to school near the church. I started feeling muscle weakness slowly by slowly, but resisted until when I finished my high school. My body was somehow stronger compared to other siblings. But after finishing school, I failed to work completely. Emmanuel has adapted to this life, though it's difficult according to his testimony. He learned how to shave and he's now a barber to all children in this area. He also thought of something else to do. He bought a laptop. He's now a disc burner in this village. They call him the DJ. He does all that to try and be self-reliant since he's growing old and he needs to provide for himself. Since they share all this walking disorder, they have always been trolled and bullied. But to them, this means nothing because they are old, focused and determined to having a better future. They say if given capital, they can be so productive and provide for themselves and help their mother in taking care of the remaining home responsibilities. They add that had they got wheelchairs, it would help them move freely and get opportunities and do more different activities. It can also help them go to church and fellowship with others every Sunday morning. Handling our suffering is an art. If we know how to suffer, we suffer much less and we are no longer afraid of being overwhelmed by the suffering inside. We should understand that suffering, disappointment and melancholy are there not to vex, cheapen or deprive us of our dignity but to mature and transfigure us. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.